My son Eitan Isaiah Briseño was born on August 25th, 2022. Just the perfect baby. Everything was going well for the first four days of his life and then he stopped eating and he was lethargic. So we took him to the hospital, to the emergency and 12 hours later he was um, transferred to sick kids where they diagnosed him with OTC deficiency, which is a rare genetic condition. My son got very sick. He was at sick kids for a whole month. It was an extremely difficult time for our family. I was crying nonstop because I didn't know if I was going to be able to take my son back home. You know, when we did get a chance to go back home, when things kind of got stable and we were processing all the news that he has a rare genetic condition, you know, it was a lot even to this day to manage. He has an NG tube and so he has to eat at certain times of the day because of his condition. And whenever he gets sick, we have to take him to the hospital. He's seven months old now. And so far he's been in the hospital five times. What OTC deficiency is, is basically um, an insufficient or lack of the OTC enzyme in the body which impacts protein metabolism in the body. So my son has to consume a medical formula in order to keep him stable. We're very lucky that we have coverage for his medication, which he has to take three times a day, but the medication sometimes doesn't work and things can get out of hand really quickly and he can go into metabolic crisis which will be devastating and that's what happened during the first month of his life. You know that weighs really heavily on all of us because he's our child and you know you want to protect your kids. It's been really hard for a family. My older daughter, she's four, and so it's hard, it's hard for her to understand why baby brother, you know, has to go to the hospital and why he can't just be at home all the time. And to be honest, life is so fragile. I didn't know things can change in seconds. I didn't know if I would ever be able to take my son back home, have my two kids play together or take my son to, you know, outside, walk with him outside or take him to the playground. The only treatment right now is either this medication that we're taking um, or liver transplant. However, liver transplant has many risks, so we decided not to go with that option. And potentially we're looking at ASO treatments and gene editing treatments for my son, which could basically provide a real cure for him where he will not have any more metabolic crisis and, you know, we're not going to live in fear every day that he might not make it. One of our doctors at sick kids said that, and I mean, a lot of the literature shows as well that boys with this condition, which he has an early on version of the OTC deficiency, have it more severe, and so they may not make it to their first birthday. But there are cases where, you know, uh, the children survive, and I have a lot of hope for my son. Um, and I believe that we will find a cure for him. very committed to finding a cure and so we're we're hoping to fundraise the the money that's needed to bring a potential gene therapy treatment to our son and go to clinical trials so he can get a chance at a better life I think it can benefit not just our family but other families who are struggling with this